Hello everyone, so welcome to the next square in the 50 stitches crochet along and this week we're going for filet. So filet is a technique where we leave holes to make a pattern. There's actually two um, different versions. You either leave holes to make the patterns or you make a grid and then fill in the holes to make the patterns. So leaving holes we usually use with nice thick yarn like this but if you're using cotton thread, you tend to make a grid and then fill in um, the squares to make the pattern. So I've just gone for something nice and simple, but you can get some very intricate um, designs for this. And all we're going to do is double crochet, and in the parts we need to leave holes, it's a chain one, skip stitch, and then just carry on with double crochet. So it's a really easy um, technique you just got to keep count. So filet patterns are usually um, made, you usually read them as in graphs. So this is the one I've made for this square and this will be available in the um, written pattern which the link is in the description and yeah, what you have to remember is you're going to turn so go row one, you turn, row two, then this way. So you need to remember which way you read it. I've put the numbers on the side that you're starting your row so you can keep track easier and each filled in square is the gap. So you need to keep count but as long as you keep count you can keep track and it's really easy to do and with a nice simple pattern like this it's even easier. Okay so I'll put that to one side in the written pattern, I've written down row by row what you need to do. So if you don't want to read the chart, you can use the written pattern as well. So we're using a three and a half millimeter hook, and we're going to start by chaining 32, and we're going to um, double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook, and that turning chain counts as a stitch as well. So then you just double crochet in each chain along. And including that turning chain, you will have 30 stitches. So I'll just finish this row. Um, so this is going to be 13 rows in total. Your first and last row um, are just block double crochet. There's no gaps at all. And in the um, first stitch in every row will be first and last, sorry, in every row will be um, a solid stitch as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn and I'm making the alternate double crochet turning chain. So if you've not seen me do this before, um, if you just search turning chain in my YouTube channel, you will see how I do that. And that also counts as your first stitch of the row. Okay, so if I just bring back the graph. So we've just done row one which is solid double crochet and I'm starting on row two. So each block is a single stitch so I'm now going to do six double crochet and then I'm going to do a chain one and skip the next stitch. Okay so I'll just push that up there. So the turning chain counts as stitch and so I need six, oh that's five more double crochet. So two so that's three stitches in total, three, four. Five and one more is six. Okay, let's get some more yarn there. Right, so now I need to chain one and skip a stitch. When you make your chain one, keep it loose. You don't want it too tight, otherwise it's going to make your um your gaps not very square. And then just skip one and double crochet again. It's a really easy method and you can create some lovely patterns. So 
So you see that? And that's all there is to it. So now I need to I need eight double crochet in this section. So I've just done the one, two, three. Seven and eight, and again, chain one, keep it loose, skip, stitch, and next stitch, double crochet again. And now I need another eight. Put all yarn. Just in the first of the eight, that's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, chain one, and skip one, and then double crochet in every stitch to the end. So every row will always have 30 stitches in total. And you'll always start and end your row with a double crochet. And into the top of that turning chain. Into there. Yeah. Okay, so then we turn and then do our turning chain. Stitch marker into the top of there. Go. So, row three. Bring the chart back. We've just done row two coming this way. Row three, we're going back this way. So, we need six chains, six, sorry, six double crochet at the start of row three, and then we skip a stitch. So, there's number one. Two, three, four, five, and number six is going to be into our skip, st st our um, chain one. So I'm just going to go under the hole and wrap around it. And there's our six. We've got a nice hole there. That's going to come out quite nice. So chain one. Always keep your chain one nice and loose. We don't want it too tight. Skip a stitch. And then double crochet again. There you go. So that's the start of the diagonal. So I'll bring in the original square. You can see all the stitches above that chain go under 
that chain, we don't go in, try and get into any stitch, we just go straight into the gap. And it all looks nice and neat once finished. So I'm not going to go through the entire square because we'll be here for quite a while. But if you click on the link in the description for the video, it'll take you to the um, written pattern where I will put a picture of that uh, grid. It's all written out, but we just want to create these nice diagonal rows. If you're feeling adventurous, you can make your own pattern. And I'd love to see what you come up with for that. But all we want is a nice series of holes to create some sort of design. So we've got 13 rows. So for the border, you want three single crochet in the first and last rows, and three single crochet in the sides of row four and row ten. All the rest are two single crochet down the side. Remember to add the extra stitch for the corners and that will give you 32 down each edge. Remember I count that diagonal in the count for both edges on each side. So it's 124 around the edge and that is all there is to the filet. So if you don't want to mess about with um, going to the blog just take a screenshot of this Oops, can you see all the numbers? And just remember, you start the row where the number is, and remember to keep the track of where you're chaining. So I'll just put the numbers of each stitch down the bottom just for reference. But if you follow this chart, you'll get the pattern. So remember the black squares are spaces, and the unfilled ones are your double crochet. So I hope that all makes sense. Uh, as always, if you need any help, come over to the Facebook group. I'm always happy to help. And please show us your finished squares. Yeah, but I'd love seeing what you've uh, gotten up to. And I will see you next time for the next video. Bye for now.